Contend, O Lord, with my contenders. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defense, Lord, my mighty help. Psalm 34. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, our Lord, we have entered the Holy Week, the last week of our great journey of Lent. We pray that this week may be spiritually beneficial for us in every way and especially at this particular time when the whole world is facing this crisis of the global coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic. We know how people are suffering everywhere. And at the same time, we also know how the best in us is also surfacing at this time to help one another, to care for one another, to pray for one another, to ask together as one human community for God's mercy and pardon. And that is what our Lord Jesus came into this world for, to unite us as one family of God and to show us the way of love. Let us pray that this may therefore be a time for us which brings us to this understanding and enlightenment. The church remembers today Pope Celestine I, who is remembered in the first Eucharistic prayer from Italy, Campania, of the fifth century. We know how Italy is in the grip of this pandemic and one of the worst affected. We pray for that country in a very special way. And let us enter into this Holy Mass of the Monday in the Holy Week, asking the Lord to pardon us, forgive us all our sins and our offenses, and thus help us to be prepared to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we acknowledge all our sins and failures. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on each and all of us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom my soul delights. I have endowed him with my spirit that he may bring true justice to the nations. He does not cry out or shout aloud 
or make his voice heard in the streets he does not break the crushed reed nor quench the wavering flame faithfully he brings true justice he will neither waver nor be crushed until true justice is established on earth for the islands are awaiting his law the says the lord the god he who created the heavens and spread them out who gave shape to the earth and what comes from it who gave breath to his people and life to the creatures that move in it i the lord have called you to serve the cause of right I have taken you by the hand and formed you. I have appointed you as covenant of the people and light of the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison, and those who live in darkness to the light. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord, the Lord is, is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? Response. The Lord, the Lord is my light and my help. When evil doers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they my enemies and foes who stumble and fall response the lord, lord is my light and my help though an army encamp against me my heart would not fear though war break out against me even then would i trust response the lord, the lord is my light and my help i am sure i shall see the lord's goodness in the land of the living hope in him hold firm and take heart hope in the lord response the lord, the lord is my light and my help first proclamation glory and praise to you lord jesus christ hail to you our king you alone have had compassion on our sins Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 12, verses from 1 to 11. Six days before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom he had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there. Martha waited on them, and Lazarus was among those at table. Mary brought in a pound of very costly ointment, pure nard, and with it anointed the feet of Jesus, wiping them with her hair. The house was full of the scent of the ointment. Then Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the man who was to betray him, said, Why wasn't this ointment sold for three hundred denarius and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He was in charge of the common fund and used to help himself to the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. She had to keep this scent for the day of my burial. You have the poor with you always. You will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large number of Jews heard that he was there and came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. Then the chief priests decided to kill Lazarus as well, since it was on his account that many of the Jews were leaving them and believing in Jesus.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Word of God this morning so beautifully places before us the identity of our Lord Jesus Christ, who He is for the whole world and for each one of us. First and foremost, our Lord Jesus Christ comes as a servant. Here is my servant, says the first reading of today from prophet Isaiah chapter 42. He's also the chosen one in whom God delights. And what is his mission? His mission is to be anointed in the spirit so that he can bring true justice to the nations it's said in the plural to the nations and that is what our lord is teaching the whole world all the nations at every time and especially during these times our lord is a servant who has emptied himself but he is the one who has come to teach us justice, true justice, which does not oppress the poor, which does not marginalize people. True justice that gives freedom to all. Therefore, it is said in today's first reading, he does not cry out or shout aloud or make his voice heard in the streets. He does not break the crushed reed, nor quench the wavering flame. He is not boasting about himself. He does not make a propaganda about himself. He does not use the media for himself. But quietly, silently and humbly, he goes about, teaching us what it means to love one another, to bring justice in this world, to lift up the fallen, to share what we have, and thereby to bring about God's kingdom. Faithfully, he brings true justice. He will neither waver nor be crushed until true justice is established here on earth, everywhere on earth, for the islands are awaiting his law. And how does he establish this justice? Not by power, dominant power, not through weapons, but by dying for us on the cross. And that is our Lord Jesus Christ, who teaches us true righteousness. And he himself, as the word of God says, is the covenant of the people and light of the nations. We will be always here in the Holy Mass. This is the blood, the blood of the new covenant poured out for you. Our Lord is the covenant who established the new covenant, God's new covenant with the whole of humankind, not only with the people of Israel, the whole of humankind, to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison, and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. This is the mission of our Lord Jesus Christ for us, to open the eyes of the blind, not only who are physically blind, but those who are also spiritually blind. So many of us are spiritually blind. We need to come out of our blindness to be able to see God's plan, God's way of working, God's call, God's summons to righteousness. And this is what our Lord is specially teaching us during the Holy Week and this particular Kairos, this particular time God has sent upon us. We also see how people recognize our Lord as the true Savior and the Messiah. For instance, Mary of Bethany anointed our Lord. It may not be an intellectual recognition, 
but definitely a recognition of the heart. But there are those who don't, and that is even among his own disciples. Judas does not recognize him for whatever reason. The gospel of today says maybe for the sake of his love for money that he said these words, why was this ointment wasted? Why was the ointment or that money not given to the poor? The gospel says because of his love for money, whether it was for money because he was a cheat and he used to help himself pilfer whatever was being collected by the disciples for the Lord or maybe even for his own ideology that he was of this type. We know he belonged to the group of the terrorists and uh, his ideology was to force to bring the kingdom to, to reestablish the kingdom of David. But whatever that be, but we know that he did not recognize him, he rejected him, he denied him and he betrayed him. Thereby he himself ruined his own life but that very betrayal becomes the way in which our Lord goes forward to save us from our sins. Let us pray that the whole world may recognize the Lord, accept the gospel, our eyes may be opened so that we enter into a new way of life because this message is not only for one person or two persons but it is for, the, for all the nations and for the entire earth to hear and be converted to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, brethren, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of his church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord. Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith he is Lord, he is Lord, he, he has risen from the dead and he is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Pope Saint Celestine I, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every kind of evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour and Lord Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, for the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my own peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her 
peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation but through your loving mercy, be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm Lord, not, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, my roof but, but only say, only the, say word, the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, keep us safe for eternal life in Him. Make me a servant, come
Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me on the day when I call. Speedily answer me. Psalm 101. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection, we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please bow your heads for God's blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities, not only with bodily observance, but above all, with purity of mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Remember, O oh, most gracious Virgin Mary, Mary that, that never, never was known, known that, that anyone, anyone who fled, fled to your protection, protection implored your help or sought for intercessions, intercessions, was left, left unaided, unaided, inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother, mother. to you, you I come, before you I stand, stand sinful and sorrowful, O Mother, mother of the World Incarnate, Despise not my petitions, but, but in your mercy, mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Mary, your Mother, Queen of Peace and Channel of all Graces, pray, pray for, for us. us. Number 341. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Yeah, the cross at